Buju in Dinawe Magna Dok. This is Kage Gabo, and tonight we're talking about imperatives, commands with VAI verbs. Um, and simply put, we're going to put use three different suffixes. Uh, the first one will be an N, and that's nin to gin. I'm telling you to do something. If we put a G at the end of the verb, that's nin to ginwa. I'm telling you all to do something. And if we use the suffix da, that's let's do something. So here's our first example. We'll do namadabin. If I say namadabin, I'm telling you to sit down. If we put a G at the end, we have namadabig. All of you sit down. And then there's namadabida. Let's sit down. So let's review this paradigm quickly. We have namadabin. You sit down. Namadabig. You all, ginawa, sit down. And namadabida. Let's sit down. Here's another one, ajugadebe, and this is to sit with your legs crossed. So again, if we say ajugadebin, ajugadebin, you sit with your legs crossed. Ajugadebig, you all sit with your legs crossed. And ajugadebida, let's sit with our legs crossed. Here's Oshigaboe. He or she lines up. He or she stands in a line. So if I'm telling a student Oshigaboen, I'm saying you, Gin, line up. Then we have Oshigaboeg. All of you line up. And Oshigaboeda. Let's line up. In cases like this, we can always use the word. Can always put this word in front. Dugga, please. Dugga Oja Goblin, please line up. And here's a very popular one. Wisini. Again, all by itself. Wisini means he or she is eating. In case of we were to say Wisinin, that's you eat. We sinig, all of you eat. And we sinida. Let's eat. Miigwech bizindawiyeg.